All right. So uh, before we start here, all these questions here again, just a reminder that uh, if you have uh, a numerator, that will be a positive log. If you have a denominator, you have a negative log. So that would definitely expedite your uh, writing process. Uh, and the next thing is that you always move the exponent to the front as a coefficient. So when you do uh, eight, number eight, you can pretty much uh, go ahead and write down two natural log of x plus four natural log of y plus five natural log of z, okay? And just a reminder, okay, why on earth are we doing natural log? It's because a log in general in the future is because when you go to calculus, we would not like something like this so bulky. So it's a lot easier to handle stuff when, when uh, it is separated into this, like uh, the, the expression on the right, like three individual terms. Uh, you would not see the uh, significance right now, but I would tell you, and I hope this seed would stay in your mind. So when you go to calculus, this seed would germinate and then uh, it would sprout at that uh, moment. Uh, number nine, it would be, well, you have a numerator and a denominator. So you have one half natural log of x because uh, x to one half power is square root of x. So one half natural log of x minus two natural log of y. All right, that should be easy. Okay. Number 10, what's number 10? It is gonna be three natural log of x minus four minus uh, two natural log of x plus one. Now, there's something I didn't do just now. What should I do? I didn't write down something and uh, it's gonna cause a lot of confusion if I did not write this thing. Now, for this one, I would have to write down parentheses because now if you type this in the calculator, what your calculator is going to interpret is that your calculator is going to think like, oh, natural log of x is one thing, then minus four. But what we actually mean is natural log of x minus four and natural log of x plus one. So for this particular occasion, you have to put parentheses. Okay, so uh, if it's just a single letter, a single term, then yes, you don't have to put parentheses. But if you have something adding or subtracting with each other, then you must put a pair of parentheses. All right. Number 11, there are a total of four things right here. So to break it down, we have natural log of y plus three natural log of parentheses, x minus four. And then we have two terms in the denominator. So we have minus natural log of z minus two natural log of x plus one. Okay. So it's more of a, a, a vision. Okay. If you can see how it's broken down, it's such an easy task. Uh, number 12. Okay. So we'll review with the stuff we did yesterday with other logs the same thing, log base three of uh, x, but you put a five up front, five log base three of x, plus four log base three of y, and then minus three log base three of w. If you actually do these exercises, really, if you understand it, it takes less than five minutes. And if you don't practice it on a daily basis, you're going to end up using more than five minutes to uh, to cramp everything together. All right, now I can see uh, that there's a square root over here. Okay, uh, you have two options. One is to uh, just put it, put a one half in the front, and then deal with it later. Uh, let me go ahead and just do this first. Uh, one half log base five of uh, x squared y cubed plus four. Do that. And then you can break it down further. So uh, it'll be uh, just log base five of x because uh, the two got moved up front 
and then multiply with the one half. So that's how two times one half is just one. So uh, the one half it's gone. Plus one half log base five of y cubed plus four. Okay. So uh, so that's how you break it down into uh, two logs adding with each other, adding to each other. And the last one, number fourteen, it's going to be. Two log base four of x plus three plus log base four of x minus six minus one half log base four of x plus two. Again, make sure you use parentheses for all these uh, little terms right here. Uh, if you do that, your job is done. Okay. There's nothing else you can do with the terms in the parentheses. So that is it.